hi there welcome to math camp channel today's topic is identification of base and height of a triangle using set square set square is basically a tool that you will always see in your geometry box so in the identification of base and height first thing you have to identify is the perpendicular lines of that triangle perpendicular lines are those lines that are meeting each other at 90 degree angle here are a few examples of perpendicular lines so if you notice all these lines are meeting each other at 90 degree angle as we know that triangle has three sides so i'm going to convert all these perpendicular lines into triangles by by adding one more side so here we have right angled triangles so once we have figured out perpendicular lines then it's super easy to find out height and base keep in mind one of the line or perpendicular line will work as height and the other one will work as base it's totally up to you that which side you want to take as height and which side you have to take as base for example if i take this side as base then perpendicular line of this line which is this it will be height or if you want to change this side as base to base the so this perpendicular side for this line will be height so likewise if i'm taking this side as base so perpendicular line to this line which is this it will be height for this if this one is height so this is going to be base for this if this one is height then perpendicular line to this line which is this this will be base and the last triangle if this one is height then perpendicular line to this line is this this will be base so to find out perpendicular lines i'm going to use set square so these two lines of set square are meeting each other at 90 degree angle so one of the line will be work as base and the one of the line will be work as height so i'm going to take this side of set square as base and this side of set square as height so now i'm going to find out height for this triangle and the base of this triangle is here so once we have a base so i will place my set square like this the that the base of set square should overlap the base of the triangle so after that i will slide this set square over this triangle and i will keep an eye on this height of set square once this side touch any of the vertex of this triangle then i will stop sliding all right the main purpose is you have to slide this set square and you will stop once this height of the set square touch the vertex of this triangle any vertex so let's see so i'm sliding this one and i will stop here why because this height has touched this vertex so you can look again so i will start sliding and i will stop when it will touch here all right after that i will just draw this line so this is going to be height so height for this base is this now what if i change my base so now base is this so what i'm going to do i'm going to place my set square according to the base so base of set square should be over the base of triangle triangle so again i will start sliding this set square and i will keep an eye on this point once it will touch the vertex so there we have this vertex this and this once this height of set square touch any of this vertex i will stop now look here so i will style slide slides and stop here so this has been touched this vertex and then again using my pencil i will draw this so the height for this base is this now if i change base of this triangle for this one so i will use same set square and i will place according to the base now again i will i will start sliding this set square and i will have an eye on this side once it will touch i'm sure that you can guess now that when i will move slide this one over this so this is going to touch this vertex this height so here stop again i will draw the line so the height for this base is this 
now it's your turn so there's a triangle and this is the base so you are going to pause this video find out height for this base once you have your answer you can resume this video all right so i'm going to show how to find out base of this, how to find out height of this uh, triangle so again i will place my set square according to the base so base of set square should slide over the base of triangle <clears throat> so the height for this triangle is this for this base for this specific base question number two try this one now all right now check your answer again base of set square should be over the base of triangle and stop when it will touch this vertex draw this line and this line is going to be height for this base now you have another triangle try to find out height for this base all right now check your answer so i'm going to place my set square according to the basis so same base base of the set square should be over the base of triangle and have an eye on this side when it will touch any of the vertex so it is switching over here all right the height for this base is this now you have to check your knowledge by doing this test so this is one question this is a base of triangle and according to this base you have to select the height so you have four options and all have their own heights so you have to see which one is correct all right so the, the answer for this base is this now i'm going to explain again this one using my set square you can see again i'm going to place my set square the base of set square should be on the base of triangle then start sliding and stop when it touch the vertex so that means this is the height now you have another question answer this question select your best option all right now the height for this base is yellow line again i'm going to show this one using set square so i will place my set square the way it should be the base of the set square is over the base of triangle and then i'll start sliding this set square over this and then i'll stop where it will touch the vertex so this is the height for this base now you have more questions you, for each base so you have to see which one is a corresponding height for this base for this base and for this base again take your time you can just give your answer and once you have your answer ready you can resume this video all right now you can check your answer so first i'm going to show the height for this base it is this now you can just see again this is a set square so base of set square is over the base of triangle and i will slide and will i will keep sliding once it touch its vertex so if so this is going to be height for this space now for this question for this space the height is this again you can see so i will start sliding my set square and i will stop so here this is going to be height and the last question again i will show this one using my set square so the base of set square is over the base of triangle i'll start sliding and we stop once it will touch the vertex of this triangle so the base of this triangle so the height for this base is this well i'm sure that you have understood this topic keep watching maths camp for further topics thank you very much bye bye